Street art. Love it or hate it, here in Southwest, cities like Cheltenham and Bristol are bursting with creative pieces. When walking through the cities, you can barely go five minutes without seeing a painting or graffiti on the side of a building, shop shutters, car parks, or even on a house. However, it is very important to understand the differences between graffiti and street art. Graffiti is usually writing or drawing that is sprayed on a surface without permission, whereas street art can be commissioned and is done within the law. In this documentary, I will be talking to Andy Davis, the founder and organiser of the Cheltenham Paint Festival, a festival within Cheltenham that for the last four years has invited artists from all over the country to come and paint within the city. George Smith, a resident of Cheltenham, and Alex Lucas, a Bristol-based muralist who did a piece for the Cheltenham Paint Festival this year. This is Artistic Freedom. How did you get into street art? Um, I was always into street art. I used to go to um, the festivals like Upfest, um, See No Evil, places like that. Uh, never considered myself an artist. I uh, just enjoyed going and looking at it. And then I was teaching at a school for kids with learning difficulties and behaviour problems. And the qualification board changed. In the new qualification, I was teaching environmentalism. So, um, and the new qualification had upcycling the furniture in and the kids all wanted to put Banksy style stencils on their furniture to, uh, to brighten their furniture up. So I learned to make stencils and then the next year we painted this long wall and it was just a little bit bare. So I had this picture here of my daughter. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, I, I did a full size version of it and put it on the wall as kind of like a guardian to the wall. She looked so fierce. And a friend put it on Reddit and just went viral from there. You are the founder of the Cheltenham Paint Festival. So what inspired you to create this festival? The tunnels at Waitrose used to be, um, there's a big mural on the Waitrose side. Yeah. And on the other side was a free wall. Um, and I went down with a load of friends from Bristol and we, we painted it all the way down the one side and some of the other side. Um, and while we were there, we'd noticed that the mural by then had degraded and um, it had been tagged. Uh, it wasn't looking so good anymore. So I went to the council and said, can I, can we paint there the next time? And they said, did you paint down the tunnels at the weekend? Uh, yeah. They said, well, we loved what you did. So we'd like to give you that one to paint and curate. And um, I got... Uh, some funding from a building project that had been done near the, the Honeybourne line and that went really really well people really took to it and coming down uh, a lot of people saying they, they used to avoid going down there because it was so dark and dingy and how much they enjoyed going down there now because it was so bright and colourful and seeing the new designs and what was going on so um, I knew people liked it and I, I always wanted it to take it out further into the town. So I, um, I put in for, for running a festival and madly that they, they went for it and said, yep. You created some art for the Cheltenham Paint Festival? Yes. Or the house. What, what was that like? It was great because it was sunny and dry. <laughs> So it makes life a lot easier because I don't use spray paint uh, when you have a bad set of weather, like I'm currently having at the moment, it makes painting a mural quite stressful on your body because you are, when it's cold and it's damp and I'm doing sort of intricate line work with a very small paintbrush, you have to hold steady, but you're freezing cold. So you're sort of, it, it, you become quite tense and the whole thing is actually quite exhausting. So Cheltenham was a joy, actually it was a joy to paint. So uh, what would you say the street art community within Cheltenham is like? There's not many of us, really. There's uh, Rich Turner who has painted at everything I've ever done, I think. So on the, the Cheltenham Paint Festival sign, he did the big lion and, mm. on there. Um, and he's painted one up at the... Um, well, there's one on the North Place car park and there's another one at the train station. Um, 
so he's from Cheltenham. There's a, another guy called Slaz. Um, but for street artists, I'd say pretty much that's it in Cheltenham. So, um, what is the street art community like in Bristol? I, I mean, I can't say for everyone because I think you get pockets. Like, you definitely get pockets of different sort of crews. So, like, you, because I don't use spray paint, I think I'm more... I'm more considered to be a muralist rather than a street artist. Um, you've definitely got the old school lot that have been around since day dot, like people like Inky who um, have just always, for me, they seem to have always been here. Um, and they tend to work very closely with other sprayers. I know quite a lot of female mural artists who use paint. So people like Zoe Power and um, Sophie Ray, um, I uh, can't remember her name, but she goes under the name Emotional Waterfall Art. She's really sweet. Yeah, so you've got kind of sort of different pockets of people. Yeah. Um, but I do think that I, there's enough space for everybody, really. Why do you think some people are against street art itself? Um, I think people think it encourages tagging. And I think to a certain extent, there is a bit of that attitude. I think people go around and go, oh, look, you know, well, if they can draw on a wall, then so can so can I, it's a free fall. Um, so I think that's probably the main reason is that people just think it's messy and it just is a bit like, a you know, an adult's playground or kid's playground, which is the playground for pens. So I can understand some people being a bit anti it, but um, I also think that people don't really like change or they don't really like, they don't really like being challenged. Now, traditionally street art and artist work is a particularly male dominated sector. How would you say your experiences as a female artist has been slightly different to any of your male counterparts? Um, I remember a studio friend once saying to me, as a female, you will never have the same recognition or earn the same money as a male counterpart. Partly I do agree with her. I think that there, I still think there is a big divide between um, male artists and female artists. I think that you know, a lot of tagging things is obviously done illegally. Mm. And I think there's sort of becomes like quite a sort of bravado with that. And it's like, oh, uh, you know, um, sort of an edginess and comes with like a coolness and things. So I think there's a bit of a divide between sort of maybe not necessarily male, female, I don't know, but maybe being a spray painter and a painter. So I still think that men are still considered to be street artists and women are considered muralists. Do you think that the being creative and completing the projects that you've done, have they bettered your mental health at all? Not at the time I'm doing them. <laughs> <laughs> Stresses me out. No, I used to get very stressed doing walls. I don't get so stressed doing walls now. But um, I would say that um, I'm happier doing what I do now than what I was doing before, with 120%. Uh, it's certainly the best move I ever made. Uh, and uh, so, I mean, all those factors would say, yeah, it's, you know, it improves your mental health, yeah. I think they've been intrinsic to my mental health. I just, I, I, as like, as I said before, I think like there's something that I need to get out of myself to put on to then reflect back and then I can accept it. And I think that there's many, many ways that people do that. I think people, they dance or they, they drum or, you know, they do something creative or they cook. There's something that I think, I think if people don't let out their feelings onto something for exercise or something, then it, that's when serious problems happen. So for me, I'm quite lucky because I know that I've got an outlet for something and it's just like yeah my hand is just a sort of um a medium to just get this stuff out um 
but I think on days when I can't get it out, that's when I've become quite not very good to be around. Uh, hi, my name's George Smith. Uh, I'm 17. I go to Gloucestershire College. I've lived in Cheltenham for uh, 16 years now. Uh, yes, uh, as a resident, there is a lot of street art that I notice, especially the last few years, like three, four years, up in like the mid kind of town of Cheltenham. So like, like the brewery is a lot more up the walls now, and it's a lot more kind of vibrant now than it was. My opinion on the street art, I, mean, I haven't really got one. It, uh, what I will say, it's quite nice to see other than just grey walls, you've now got like some someone's art that they've bothered to come out and do. Uh, so it's always quite cool and there's a lot of people taking photos of it because uh, obviously Cheltenham, especially now people come visit it for like tours and stuff now, so it's definitely helped. So I think, yeah, in my opinion is probably, it's good. I would definitely want to see more around the southwest. We're quite, we're not, there's not a lot of big cities down towards where we are, uh, well major cities, so it's quite, it can be seen as quite boring. So a bit more colour and art, I suppose, wouldn't hurt. So do you know what the Cheltenham Paint Festival is? I do not know what the Cheltenham Paint Festival is. So it is a street art festival right. that happens every year and that tens, well, sort of about 50 odd people will give up houses or whatever and this one group of artists will come in and paint their house. Is that something you would be interested in? I mean, I'm personally... To be interesting, it'd be interesting to watch to see like the aftermath to see how they've got like a, a normal White House, for example. Then put there was one they did recently, they put all the flowers on it, and the, that was quite cool to see. I'm not a massive art lover, but I definitely like to see a bit more color on certain houses and that. So, yes, I think it would interest me overall. Do I think it brings more tourism to Cheltenham? I wouldn't say specifically, I wouldn't say people go, let's go to Cheltenham to look at the street art. I think it's now a factor. So, we've got let's go to Cheltenham to look at. You know, the bathhouse, there's street art there, there's food. It's that sort of, it's, it's added, not not a single thing. But yeah, I think it would help to bring more people to Cheltenham, yeah. Street art is more than just a painting on a building. It's a way for artists to express themselves, release emotions, exhibit political views, raise awareness of global issues and sometimes even honour someone's memory. Paintings can bring colour and life into an otherwise boring White House neighbourhood. It's a talking point and can even bring communities together. Creative hobbies have been known to better mental health and boost positive emotions. So I encourage you to take up a creative hobby, pick up a paintbrush or maybe even a spray can and just practice. In 2017, there were 2,498 reported incidents related to graffiti. Do not let the actions of these individuals tarnish your opinion of street art. Street art is beautiful and full of life. So now it's up to you. Either appreciate this art form or sit back and watch as more and more pieces are put up in your area because art will never be stopped.